that costs our fortune. Off to a new home, pal. Bang on. Got a wee party of kids for me this morning. Morning, Holly. What a bee. Big breakdown. It's a drill working there. Goods are all fed. Not getting too much. I'm just going to give us some potatoes as well. Uh, I need to head along the road to feed the calves. Lou has now decided she's going to carry all the net wrap for me. This is one of my old slash new £10 spud boxes. Phenomenal. Just a bit of bedding for it underneath and a wee bit. There's wood chips to collect as well today. I need to get them sorted out. Right, I'm just heading along the road to feed the calves. Um, Dad's just unloading a delivery van for the farm shop. There's a few pallets of bits and bobs. That van's kind of in once a week with two or three pallet fills. This is yard number three. There's fields here that are rented out for other cattle. So the guy who's got the cattle is just setting up to bring his cattle in, I think. He's got a box here to take them away. There we go. They've settled in just fine in there. Right, calves all fed and whatnot. Dunks plowing, you can see just there. Down in that field. They'll be in there all day, it's quite a big field in there. Quite wet today though, it's raining. As we speak, it rains through the night. So the tarpaulin that's arrived is for going on top of there. So when it's raining, kind of water doesn't seep through it and well, it already has for the last few years, but just to protect it a bit because it's starting to show signs of a bit of water damage. Should really have done this a while ago or built a cover over it at the very start. We'll do this to it. It'll help at least. It'll do better. It'll be better than nothing. Right, I've abandoned everything because a bit of a new one today. There's a the local, the local slaughterhouse, which is kind of commercial slaughterhouse. Uh, they've got a cat beast escaped, um, and they phoned us to collect it once it's been shot because. If a cattle beast escapes and ends up on kind of public roads and whatnot, it's just dangerous and a single cattle beast is really hard to control and get in a pen or get deal with at all. So they've had to come to the decision to shoot it. Um, and I've been called to collect it. So they're currently waiting on the firearms, people coming. It's not a cattle beast, it's just one that's escaped. Um, currently waiting on the firearms unit, so I'm just going to go head along the road and see what the script is, go to where I've been called to and find out more from there. Got a waste on the football pitch. Police up there. Police here. Police all the way over there. Poor beast going to have to get shot, but that was at the slaughterhouse anyway, I guess. Apparently they're going to sit up here with the guns so they can shoot down the way, because there's a lot of buildings and whatnot round about. position just under that tree. That's it, on the trailer. Away from the football pitch, I made a bit of a mess of it. Police are clearing out, I'm last to move. Update, I'm home. Um, so the cattle beast had to be shot. It was out on a football pitch in the middle of kind of a housing estate. Um, it was a few miles from where it had escaped the slaughterhouse. Anyway, I got kind of surrounded by police and whatnot, but and because of this environmental thing going on in Glasgow, there's a lot of the security and armed forces and all that are over in Glasgow. So it took a while to get people to come and take it down. Um, anyway, got the cattle beast um, shot. It took a while for them to get a position that they wanted to shoot it from. Because there was a golf course, there was houses, there was a school. It was not the easiest shot. Anyway, they shot it. I pulled up with a trailer got the cattle beast on the back of the trailer and took it back to the slaughterhouse. Got a tarp over the top of it, just don't want to go through housing estate with a dead cattle beast on your trailer, do you? So that's that done. 
back to putting a tarp on top of that uh, grain dryer. Bit of entertainment for the day. I got a few bits, but I didn't want to start putting the cameras in people's faces. There was a lot of police about it and guns and whatnot, so just leave them to it. Don't didn't want to disrupt them, disturb them. So there's a couple of bits that you've just seen, but glad it was my cattle beast. I also didn't video the cattle beast getting shot because I don't know who's watching. It could be actually I do know quite a few people who are watching. So didn't want to show a cattle beast getting shot. Um, once you get to that stage of a cattle beast on its own in a housing estate, you're scuppered, you're stuffed. If you get a cattle beast out here, it'll just go to the neighbour's farm and stay in a field for a while and it's a nightmare to get hold of, but it's, there's not much threat. I mean, out there there's general public kicking about, you can't have a cattle beast on, on the run for too long, so it had to be shot. It won't go through the food chain. Um, I, was, I was saying it was... A, bit of a shame it had to be shot but it was going to slaughterhouse anyway it's just it's destined now not to end up in the food chain it'll just end up as waste effectively which is that's the bit that's the shame it's not getting used for food product anyway back home now bit of an interesting morning it seemed to be fairly well dealt with I don't think they've had a cattle beast, cattle beast escape for years and years and um, and it was within a few hours of it escaping they'd had it all dealt with and sorted out so couldn't have done much better than that anyway back to my day's work tap on on top of that but i'm going for a cup of tea first i miss miss my tea break so i was messing about getting a cattle beast on the trailer i didn't need the dung grape and um, managed just fine with the forks so that can come off again it didn't come off at the other end either Right, just been at Harbro picking up a few things. First of all, I was needing rope to tie down the tarpaulin when I get it up onto the grain dryer. Then we were speaking to Harbro this morning about minerals for the cows being on ammonia straw. They're low in selenium if they if they're on that, and one other sulfur, sulfur and selenium. I think those two. Um, so they're going to get a straw balancer mineral instead of a super suckler, and then but when they go on to silage, which will be about a month pre-calving we'll switch them over to the super suckler because they'll get um, the sulfur and selenium from the silage so they won't need that so much and right the man cage is along the road which i was going to put the tarp into but i'm just going to have to put it on top of the extension push it right up to the top of the dryer and then clean up the dryer and hopefully just pull it off and then manhandle it on top of the dryer although it's quite windy today i'll see what it's like up the top before i start unraveling it all it's 27 kilo the tarp and that was a relatively heavy duty but not heavy heavy duty because it would have been 50 kilo leaving this up what's the chances Bang on. Sweet, isn't it? What else do I need? Grinder, yeah, I could throw a grinder up. He's gonna give me a wee hand. Yeah. So we need to cover this area. More importantly, kind of this section. Change plan. Put the tarp up, but we need the cage so we can tie it all off around about. So we'll need to wait until that's back on this yard. Okay, We're figuring out some plans because We've got a fertiliser coming tonight, a load of fertiliser, um, so we need to figure out where that's going, so we need to clear some space for it. We've got a bit of a lean to up there, but it's a bit damp and drips, and without it being so expensive, it's good to have it inside locked away. Uh, so we're getting it in and locked away, figuring out that, then we need to get Percy along the road, we need to sieve out the cows that are not pregnant from the other cows so we can feed them a bit more before they go to the slaughterhouse because they've lost a bit of condition outside and what else do we need to do? Something else. Make the pen bigger in there because we'll hopefully buy some cows this weekend. Inception. Dad's clearing a space for food. I'm quite engaged to make a pen to get Percy out of the pen in there. 
because he's just going to walk out into the trailer no problem and he's going along the road. Finally, we meant to do it two months ago. Get these without hitting any of the staff cars, that'd be ideal. Right, I've just got a wee bit of a race in there. So I'll just put the wheel through there, away he goes, up and in. I'll put the trailer in there, just need to go put it on so the gate is open, so I'll put the forklift in the way. Failing him going in that way, I'll just put a halter on him. He is, in theory, halter trained. How accurate is this one going to be? Take your guesses. Oh, miles away. Nice one. It's better. Right, we're good to go once Dad turns up. Shift the fortlift, trailer back, Percy in. Make your predictions. Will it go that smoothly? My prediction, no. Dad's suggested we shut this door after uh, this morning's entertainment. Don't want to be the entertainment. It went smoothly. I just uh, had a bucket of food, a grub in front of him and he followed me up into the trailer. And then Dad shot me and him in the trailer. It was probably a bad idea, but I made it out the other end. This is where Percy's going. We've just set up gates here and there's an open uh, bar for him. Jesus, oh boy. Especially with one hand. Anyway, yeah, this is bedding for Percy. Oh, I've not been for wood chips actually today. I'm gonna have time to go, they'll be closed soon. That's twice. Thursday we phoned to say we're coming for wood chips, didn't make it. Today we phoned to say we're coming, didn't make it. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. No doubt they won't be able to do it tomorrow. Last step, there's a feeder in there that's still got feed in it. So we need to quickly empty that um, so he doesn't gorge himself. It's not a huge amount, but just to be on the safe side of things. There he goes. Off to a new home, pal. About to have a big kind of switch around in here, so cows are all in that pen at the moment. But we're going to change that because we're hoping to get some more on Saturday. So I'm going to run the first two fences, one and two, from this point, run them directly over to that wall. So all this will become um, pens for the cows. The one issue is the water supply, so we'll still need to. We've only got one trough, which is over there right there so it's fine we'll run that fence that's currently running up there we'll run it to this pillar here and that'll give us one wee box uh, for segregating um, cattle off if we need to it's quite handy having a wee separate box for the likes of that cow right now is a bit lame on the front foot that had the issues Laurie's just arrived with a fart, so take the grab off here and get that unloaded. So that's it, some of the expensive stuff. Uh, 32 bags of urea, so that's 46% nitrogen. Um, still a wee bit of urea to come. We've received all the other fur for next year. So, sitting all right. Got a wee bit left to come. We were worried it wasn't coming, but it's just arrived, most of it. We balanced to come, and then we're pretty happy. But that costs our fortune. It kind of worked out not too bad for us because we don't actually buy our own fertilizer. Uh, we do it through a company who tell them what you need for the year uh, and they effectively buy for loads and loads of farmers. So they are meant to be better at the stats and all that, of figuring out when it's going to be good. And they just add on a percent in terms of cost. And my dad was working out the other day that we've been 
doing it for maybe five or six years now, and one out of those years has not been beneficial to go with them. The other five have been beneficial to be with them. I mean, it was still a lot more expensive than last year, but in terms of today's price, pretty cheap. Lorry drivers saying they're getting a lot of uh, sides that are lorry slashed. Just people can peer in and see what's in them. 32 bags, not much shy in price in terms of that trailer. That should last 10, 15, 20 years. Extortionate. Right, that's everything for this video. Got the fire off there. I'm needing to finish shifting all this stuff. There's a pile of limestone in the corner. Need to shift that. No idea where I'm gonna put that at the moment. I'll figure it out tomorrow. Uh, otherwise, there's not much else to do in here apart from actually move the gates and make the pen up. And then what else is happening? I need to go for wood chips tomorrow. I was meant to go today. Didn't get around to it because we had to go and help with the cattle beast that escaped. If you can like and subscribe, it really helps. Um, trying to get for 3,000 anytime soon. We're at like 25, 26, about there. 400 to go. I mean, if everyone who's watching who wasn't subscribed just clicked it, we'd be there in an instant. But we'll get there eventually. Question of the day. I'm not going too close because it'll tell you what's the difference between the red wee bits of paper and the blue bit wee bits of paper. You walk by my side.